Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm super excited today because I've got the gorgeous Robin wig from Noriko in another colour. Now one of my favourite wigs and one of my go-to wigs is always Thin Candies from Godiva Secret Wigs. I love that wig but because I've found a very similar style to it that I can get easier from the UK with no import tax because Godiva Secret Wigs are based in America and I'm here in the UK. I've gone for Robin from Noriko, which really is its sister style. And I'm really excited because I've managed to get Robin in champagne rooted. Now, I've wanted this colour for ages. It's a gorgeous blonde. It's a rich kind of real beachy blonde with that nice root. And this is a gorgeous long style. It's very comfortable to wear. There's hair, but it's also very sleek. You know, a lot like um, the wig that I reviewed in the last video, you know, we got Ren wig. There's a lot of hair, but it doesn't feel like a lot of hair when it's on. So it's really easy to wear, it's nice to wear, and it feels good. So I'm really excited today to show you Robin from Noriko in Champagne Art. Now, I've already reviewed Robin in Light Chocolate and Burgundy Rosa, and I've got many colours of Thin Candy wig. So if you like this wig and you're thinking, oh, I like the wig, but I want to see it in a different colour... You can check out the wig reviews. Well, let's have a look at this wig straight away. Look at that gorgeous colour. But I'm going to show you the cap first. So the cap on Robin, she's got a really nice kind of, it's really comfortable to wear. You know, it's an average cap. It fits nice and cosily on the head. You know, I'm an average cap size and it just fits really nice and snug. It's always like putting a nice pair of slippers on. You know, you always feel cosy when you put these wigs on from Noriko. They feel really nice to wear. And it's got a little bit of machine teasing, you know, a little bit of volume, that permatease, va va voom, to lift the wig slightly. And then you can boost it up and have as much volume as you want, or you can flatten it down with your hands and have it more of a flatter look, which is what I personally prefer. I've sewn in three wig clips. I've done this myself. Two at the front, one at the back, with it being a longer style. But you can wear this any way you want to, you know, with a wig grip band, with a wig cap, with nothing at all. Or you can sew in your own wig clips. And at the back of the wig, you've got all the breathable wefting. So it's really nice and light and airy to wear. And you've got the bra strap style adjusters to make the wig tighter or looser to suit your own head. Now, I haven't done anything to this wig. I've literally got it out of the box, put wig clips on and tried it on very quickly. I haven't messed around with the parting or anything. So when you get a wig from Noriko or any of Paris, it comes to you with a zigzag parting. So obviously, we're going to need to adjust that to make it look more realistic. But before I do anything to it, you can tell, literally I haven't done anything to this wig. Just got her out the box. Look at the colour on it. Gorgeous, stunning, light, kind of vanilla -y blonde. It's beautiful. And you've got the rooting all the way through. So champagne art. So it's a very nice, light blonde, but it's also got a richness to it. You know, it's kind of got a richness, like a bit of a yellowy tone to it. It's not yellow by any, any means, but it's got that richness to it. So it's not like a icy blonde, you know, it's just really rich and nice, like a beachy blonde. Reminds me a lot of the vanilla bean or that Good Iris Secret Wigs do in the mono wigs. You know, in their machine tease wigs, they do the champagne or. I've got this colour in quite a few other wigs and I'm really grateful and blessed now that I've been able to get Robin in this colour. I ordered this wig brand new from Valentine's Wigs here in the UK. It took about a week to come because... You know, sometimes Valentine's wigs can take a bit longer because they use Royal Mail, which is our postal service here in the UK. They don't use like a courier service, but the customer service and the price is worth it. So, you know, I got this wig for pretty much nothing at all. I think it was just over £100. It was on offer. Bargain. And I love it. So you can get your brush and the first thing you want to do is break up that party. So I'm just using my brush just at the root here. And it also breaks up the permatease. This wig has got a very light bang, which you can wear as a bang or you can cut in a full bang or you can push it over to the side, which is normally what I prefer to do. And then I'm just going to use my comb to just make a part. And obviously I'll probably do this more when it's on my head to make sure I get it in the right place for me. But it's always nice to kind of break up the hair anyway. When you get Robin or Thin Candies because they're very similar styles. 
and then I'm just going to give her a little brush through. She won't need much at all because she's a new wig, as you can see. But because it's obviously a long one, it's a mane of hair, I just want to give her a brush. And I always feel excited when I wear this colour because it's a bit badass wearing champagne blonde when you're a brunette, you know. So I always feel good in a blonde. So I'm really excited. And this really is one I've wanted for a long time. You know, I was going to get it from Godiva Secret Wigs, Thin Candies, but I thought, no, I'm going to get it from um, Noriko, the Robin wig, because it's super similar anyway, and I wanted it quickly, you know, and it's in the UK, no import tax, so there's a method to my madness. Okay, so I'm going to get my thumbs at the back where the label is and put the front of the wig about there. My hair's prepped for this wig, I've washed it today, it's very fly away, you know, whenever I wash it, it's just all over the place. You know, so you can see it's slightly damp as well. And the good thing about wearing a wig, you know, that's got breathable wafting at the back, when your hair's wet, it will dry very easily. And it's really nice, you know, if it's hot weather and perhaps this is the wet, the wig you're going to wear on holiday, you're going to take it on holiday. Perhaps it's really warm weather and you just wash your hair and your towel dry it and you don't want to, you know, dry it with a hair dryer because you're too hot. So you can just towel dry it, put it back like this and then put your wig on and throughout the day it will dry under the wig. So I found that's a really good thing too. So let's get her on. So thumbs at the back where the label is, front of the wig about there and put your head into the wig, okay? So you don't put the wig over. I mean, you can do, but you know, if you, it's easier to do that, you know, if you've, you have, you've got no hair or you know, maybe suffering from alopecia if you've got hair loss. But if you've got hair, if you put try and put it over, it's going to knock all your hair out. You know, it's going to be flying away everywhere and then you're going to have to try and get it into your wig. So the best thing to do is get your thumbs at the back where the label is. Put the front of the wig about there and put your head into the wig. Why aren't you putting a bucket on your head? I'm tucking in the back and making sure it's flat. Grabbing the two ear tabs, making sure they are flat to my head and lifting her up. Now, as you can see... She's quite low down because with a machine tease whip, because they fit a little bit snugger than perhaps the mono ones, the mono ones lift up a lot easier when you first put them on than the machine teased. So obviously you're going to have to lift this up to your hairline. Now this isn't a lace front wig, but it does not need to be. You know, whenever I wear thin Candice or Robin, I always feel very natural in the wig, always feel nice, you know, I don't feel wiggy or anything like that. So, you know, if you're someone who's used to lace fronts, this is a great option to try, you know, because it's affordable and it's a gorgeous style. So I'm going to lift her up to my hairline about there, making sure everything's where it's meant to be. And it is. Make sure your ear tabs are flat and they're not sticking out. Make sure they're flat. That's how they're designed to be. Make sure they are aligned so your wig's on straight. And then I'm able to clip her in and secure it. Just like that. She's not going anywhere. Now, I've sewn three wigs into this, three wig clips into this, two at the front, one at the back. It's rare I'll use the back one, but I always sew it in if the wig's longer than, say, here, for added security purposes, just in case I'm going somewhere and I need to feel my wig secure. But when you tighten up those adjusters, you don't really need to mess around with that, you know? But, I mean, I haven't done anything to this wig. I've popped it on my head. All you've seen me do is brush through the top bit, change the parting a little bit, and really, she's good to go. I mean, she's gorgeous. I love this colour in this rooted colour because with me being a brunette, you know, when I wear a blonde, if it's a full blonde, sometimes I can be very conscious of that. And it's nothing to do with the wig. It's nothing to do with the colour. It's the way I feel. Remember, it's how you feel when you're wearing a wig that gives you the power when you're wearing a wig. If you feel confident in the wig, you're going to rock any wig. But if you're a little bit subconscious about something, you're going to feel it and that's going to show. Okay, so the thing I love about wearing a rooted blonde is the fact that I feel much better in it. So, you know, I feel completely fine going out in this colour. In fact, I'm really excited about this colour for the coming summer season. So look at this. Gorgeous. Love it. Blonde. Beautiful. So before I do anything with the wig, have a mess around and turn. Let me show you the colour. Look at that beautiful champagne art so you know if you've maybe had a vanilla bean blonde in the past and you thought mm, what's a similar color champagne art really nice brightens everything up just feels sexy very sassy color i always feel badass in this color 
I feel like I can do anything in this colour. You know, a few years ago, you know, I actually went on roller coasters and I'm afraid of roller coasters. I don't like them. You know, even now I don't like them, but I wanted to, you know, really get over my fear of them. So I made myself go on three roller coasters at our local theme park, Alton Towers, which you may have heard of. It's only like 40 minutes up the road from where we live. We're very lucky. And I went on three roller coasters. And for me, going on a baby roller coaster would petrify me. But I went on the mine train. I went on Wickerman. And I went on 13, which to me are like, oh my goodness, they might as well go upside down and everything, you know, they don't. But they are scary to me. And I wanted to feel confident, so what did I wear? I wore a little short blonde wig in champagne art. I wore my little Erin wig from um, Good Irish Secret Wigs in champagne art, this colour. And I managed to go on the roller coasters, beat my fear. I'm still scared of them, don't get me wrong. But I felt strong to do it and I knew it was that wig. I knew it wasn't just that wig either, it was the colour of the wig. Give me strength. So sometimes you may feel that way. You know, and Supergirl as well, she's got blonde hair. So, you know, maybe you feel stronger in a blonde wig sometimes. You know, I always kind of feel sophisticated or, you know, a little bit kind of classy when I'm wearing a darker wig now. And when I'm wearing a blonde wig, I feel more playful. You know, and I've no idea if that's how it is in real life, if it's your natural colour. You know, because I've always felt playful anyway with a brunette, being a brunette. And I've always dyed it red. But it's just how the wigs make me feel. Which I love. I love that I can put a wig on and feel completely different. It changes my mood and it uplifts me, which I love. And you can see, you know, this here, I mean, if I just check, I might have it a little bit high, actually. Yeah, I've got it just a tiny bit high on my head. But I mean, it doesn't matter because it's showing you that this is my natural hairline here. And because it's a rooted wig, it looks completely natural. Obviously, it's a little bit high there. I just have to lower it slightly, which I'll do in a second. But... You know, you can put the bang over and that just gets rid of that anyway. So this is the little light bang that Robin comes with that you can pull over. You know, on me, I've got a short forehead. So if I was going to wear it with a bang, I would just trim it a little bit. You know, if you check out my wig review video on Thin Candice, I've got Thin Candice in Nutmeg F. Nutmeg F is more of a richer strawberry blonde. And I've trimmed the bang a tiny bit on that one. But it doesn't need much. But what I've learned, obviously, from my time wearing wigs getting used to wearing wigs, being able to handle wigs a lot better, manipulate the hair better. I've learnt, because it's all trial and error, to just use the heat of my fingers to move the hair where I want it to be. So I'm perfectly fine with it being like that, you know, perfectly fine. So before I lift it up and take it off and we'll put it on again, let me show you from the side. Gorgeous, look at this colour. And the length, of, she's so natural looking, there's lots of movement in this wig. I always feel lovely in this wig. Gorgeous. And there's many, many colours that Robin comes in, just like Thin Candies. So maybe you're in America and you're thinking, I'd rather try Thin Candies. Then obviously you can do that. It's very similar to this. The sister styles. If you put the two wigs next to me and I didn't know which was which, I, would say, I wouldn't know because they're so similar. From someone who wears them, you know, when I first started my wig journey, I was wearing thin candies in ginger brown all the time. So, you know, I can say hand on heart, these are sister wigs. So let's put her on again, okay? And such a great option when, you know, you don't want to pay import tax, but you want to get your hands on this style. So again, I'm just going to take a bit more time this time lifting it up. This is why when you're putting a wig on like this, it's always best to put it on in a mirror. So, you know, maybe you're throwing your wig on and you don't look in the mirror. You know, or doing it on camera sometimes is different than doing it in a mirror, you know, because I can see clearly, but not as clear as if I was in a mirror. So I've got it much better there now. But, you know, you don't want your wig too low because it'll look daft if you don't want it too high because then it looks wiggy. You want to make sure you take the time getting it into the right place. Much better. Much better there. So obviously all I'm doing now, because I've already brushed her out, you might want to brush her out. I'm just using my fingers to go through the style. And what I find with all the Noriko styles, just like with all the, the, um, the well, ginger brown thing candies, with all the Gadira secret wig styles, is the hair is so manageable. 
you know, when I tend to find with the Raquel Welsh wigs and the John Renault wigs, but especially the Raquel Welsh wigs, even though I love them, and I love Miles' style, you know, I've got that in three colours, the hair just mats up so easily. Whereas when you're wearing a wig from Godiva Secret Wigs or from Noriko, and Renia Parish to some extent as well, but especially Noriko and Godiva Secret Wigs, the hair just does not mat up. So I could go out in this wig all day today, go out in the wind, go out in the rain, go out doing all kinds of things. And all I have to do is this, and she remains the way she is. Whereas if I was wearing miles of style, because I've done it and I've got it, it would be constantly tangling up and it just doesn't feel nice then. So I have to constantly take my you know, comb with me and brush through it in the loose and that kind of thing. So for me, for convenience and the way the hair feels and acts, perfect style. If you want a long, sleek, gorgeous cut, you know, and this is something you're after, I really can recommend this wig. So Robin wig, and you can see how easy she is to, to manipulate the hair and to put on. You get it out of the box, you throw it on your head and it's ready to wear. And when you wash these wigs as well, because obviously I've washed a lot of the Godiva Secret wigs and they're similar, they wash the same way. So you wash your wig and then you hang it up to dry and then when it's dry, it will look exactly as it comes, the wash and wear wigs. So they're really good to maintain as well. And you know, if you look after your wig, your wig's going to look after you. You know, someone asked me if these wigs last three to four months. I haven't had to throw any of my wigs away yet because I look after them. Obviously, if you're throwing your wig on the floor and you're not washing it when it needs to be washed, and you're not looking after it, you're not going to get as much lifespan out of it. But if you look after your wig, and maybe you're rotating colours, you're rotating different wigs, you're going to get lots of wear, maybe even lifetime of wear out of a wig if you're wearing it occasionally. So the way you treat your wig is really how your wig will treat you. But, you know, they say, you know, every seven to eight months, you, your wig might, might be on its last legs. Now, I've got a thin candy, so I was wearing every day for like a year. And even that wig isn't ready for the bin. You know, I can tell there, obviously, it's not a wig I would go to if I was going anywhere. But I definitely will wear it if I need to go somewhere like a doctor's appointment or, you know, going out to the shops or going you know, down the garden, you know, if I wanted that style. So I've got like a box now, like a plastic container, where I put used wigs in. Now, I've only got three in there so far. I've got Shame in Melty Marshmallows where I had from eBay. And I've talked about that, you know, because I've got a new one of that one now. But, you know, no matter what I did, it got a weird smell to it. So that one, no matter how many times I washed it, it got a weird smell to it because it was it had come from eBay used. And I got it at bargain price, so I don't mind. The other one is Stella Wig by Ellen Villa. And obviously, I've got a new Stella Wig now. But I had that one as well used from eBay, same thing. So they are in my little go-to, you know, painting, doing things around the house, cleaning, going to the shops, the doctors, hospital, anything like that box. And my thin candy that's like that is in there too. So I've got a, a go-to wig, you know, if I just want one that you know, isn't, not a best wig, because, you know, it's no point really keeping your wigs for best, because you'll never wear them, but, you know, if you want one that you're not bothered if it gets damaged or painted or anything like that, but I'm absolutely in love with this one, I love this colour, it's gorgeous, it's such a, oh, you know, just sexy style in this colour, you know, really pretty, if you've always wanted to be a blonde and you've never gone there, you know, like me, you just be in love with wearing this wig and this colour. Stunning. So Robin Wig from Noriko Wigs in Champagne Art. 10 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.